Hey guys, hey chosen generation, hey beautiful people of the most high God. How are you guys doing on this beautiful, beautiful Thursday? It's Thursday here in Delaware. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. I'm holding the phone. I'm holding it down in the car because the sun is really, really blaring. So just so I won't have like a big blare on the screen, I thought I would hold it this way. I hope you guys can see me good. This is the day that the Lord has made and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is good all the time and all the time. God is amazing. He's more than good. He's better than good. I hope and pray that all is going well with you guys today. I hope you guys are enjoying your day wherever you are. If you're at work, if you're just getting up, wherever you are in the world, welcome guys welcome to all my subscribers those that have been with me from the very beginning as well as, as those that have just subscribed welcome and welcome back yes if it is your first time here welcome my name is Nee, and on this channel i give you whatever the holy spirit gives me a word of encouragement a prophetic word a scripture even just talking to chat what have you whatever he gives me to say i get on here and i just do it and i just say it amen so if that is the type of content you content excuse me you enjoy hit the subscribe button we would love to have you as a part of the chosen generation family of the most high god guys i was getting dressed today and believe it or not in the bathroom the way the holy spirit normally speaks to me when i'm in the bathroom so i'm in the bathroom getting dressed and he began to speak to me and he says to tell the people get on and tell the people to be mindful as well as very very attentive uh to the children and he repeated it he said tell my people to be very very attentive to the children and he began to say, listen to your children, grandchildren. If I know some are taking care of their grandchildren, raising their grandchildren. And um, just even if you're just around your grandchildren from time to time and you, you know, you're watching them or what have you, you know, listen and watch as well as pray what they're saying out of their mouth, as well as what they're looking at on the Internet. Um, the Holy Spirit began to say that the enemy is really, really working hard overtime on the children and he wants me to come on and warn the people to really, really be careful um, that you're paying attention to the children. Um, even if you're like, say, for example, in the car and you're driving and you see uh, maybe the children are just doing something in the back and you're not really paying attention. And maybe they have uh, their cell phones out or just pay attention to what they're saying out of their mouth, whether it's to each other or if they're just basically just talking in general pay attention to what the children are saying because the holy spirit was saying that a lot of things that you think that your children are not um aware of they really are aware of a lot of things that you think they don't know they really do know um and that's one of the things that we know um a lot of times we try to protect our children we don't want them to know uh too many things before their time we don't want them to be too mature before their time. But a lot of times, little Susie and little Tommy may have been exposed to things that your children have not been exposed to. So your daughter may want to go over to little Susie's house and stay the night. Little Susie may have been experiencing, experienced in some things that maybe it seems on the outside that she hasn't been experienced to. But your, your daughter... Uh, loves little Susie and they're oh they get along so good in school and they're just little playmates but for some reason when little Susie asks for your daughter to come over and you say well you know what I'm at the parents the parents seem okay um, you let her, let her go you let her stay the night something happens well God is saying pay attention to where you even allow your children as well as your grandchildren to stay with people a lot of times people have been um mess with okay a lot of things have happened to kids where it's even in um maybe something that has happened for a short period of time maybe it happened a couple times and children a lot of times will act out on those things that has happened to them and it may come out in just a a curse word you know some children will you, you know oh that's not like little tommy to say that word well little tommy heard another little boy say the word or another little girl say that word and he felt as if you know well that's not 
really seems like that's right for them to say that, but let me try it. So let me try to see what I can get away with and let me try to say it. So we have to really, really be paying attention to the words that are coming out of our children's mouths as well as um, raising them, like the Word of God says, in the way that they should go. For when they get old, they will not depart from it. That's why a lot of our prison systems are filled up with people that have committed all these types of crimes because of things that they were not uh, taught as children. They weren't um, really, really, really raised in a family where they had that uh, attention to certain areas where they need that attention. And, you know, a lot of times we need to really, really pay attention to uh, not just what uh, is coming out of our children's mouths and you know but even just where uh, you, you know you're, you're taking them what you know where their time is spent you know and where who who are they uh, constantly around who are those five people that they talk to all the time that they're constantly around now we know that the world is the world and we can't completely shelter our children at all times but we do know that we want to shelter them as much as possible, you know, um, from the tricks and the schemes of the enemy, you know, um, because his desire is to sift them as, you know, we and basically have these children and all kind of stuff, you know, um, all mixed up in their head, you know, on medication. You know, if you if you if you look at the statistics right now, so many kids have uh autism so many kids have this so many kids have that but god is saying we need to pray over our children a lot of times you know uh we're so quick to take our kids to the ho to the doctor and let the doctor give them a diagnosis and give them something um that really is not not good for their system um which affects a lot of times on other parts of their organs and disclaimer i'm not telling you not to take your kids to the doctor but i'm saying be wise, use wisdom, and pray before you do things. Um, but the Holy Spirit is his main thing that he has me coming on to say is be careful. Be careful what and who you have your children around. Um, you know, be careful what they're watching on the internet. You know, don't send them to their room and have them on the internet or on their phones all hours of the night. Their phone is in their room and they're just looking at all types of stuff. And you don't even, you're not even aware that they're all into all these type of things. You're not even paying attention because you're, uh, working, you're tired and you're possibly a single parent or you may be married, but God is saying, be careful be attentive listen and be aware of what's going on with your children you would be surprised the things that your children are aware of what they've seen what they've heard and a lot of times children they hold it in they will not tell you but it, at at some given point it will come out a lot of times when they're either doing something or they're saying something and you'll be like where did that come from what did you say so God is saying, pay attention to your children as well as your grandchildren. I love you guys. Be encouraged. This is just a quick word from the Lord that he wanted me to repeat on here to come on and just reiterate. He said, tell my people, tell my people. You know, you've said it before. I have done a video before. He said, well, I want you to repeat this video of uh, be careful with the children as far as where they go, what they do, even down to what they eat. You know, a lot of times kids are eating so much sugar, so much salt. They're just eating whatever, you know. Um, and, and God wants our children to be healthy as well. You know, he wants us to be healthy, but he wants us to take the same um, attention that we do for ourselves to our children. Amen. Let me have a word of prayer for you with you. Father, I thank you for each one under the sound of my voice. I thank you for their life. I thank you, Father God, that you would teach each and every one of us how to raise the children, teach how to uh, be attentive even the more. Those that are single parents, those that are married, those, oh God, that just feel like, you know what, they don't know how to raise their children. Maybe they're dealing with children that are just this disobedient. Father, I ask that you would give them strength, give them wisdom, how to raise their children, how, oh God, to correct them, give them wisdom, oh God, that they will not do things that is not pleasing in your sight as they correct their children. But let them, oh God, listen to the way you want 
them to correct those children. Father, I thank you for protecting your children, each and every one. Allow, oh God, them to be protected at all times. I bind up every spirit that is not like God, even as they go to school. I pray for your protection around our children. In the name of Jesus, turn away death, evil, danger, turn it away in the name of Jesus. I give you praise, I give you glory for your protection around our children. I thank you, Father God, even, oh God, the parents that feel like they don't know, oh God, exactly how to be a parent. Teach them, oh Father, how to be a parent, how to be attentive, how to be a better parent in the name of Jesus. And I thank you for it in advance, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Guys, be encouraged. God is with you. He will teach you how to be uh, that parent that you desire to be, how to be a better parent. None of us have a roadmap of how to be a parent. You know, we just do the best that we can. But God is saying, even in that, he's with us and he will show you. He's going to show you how to be that parent, to be attentive, to listen to your child and to make sure that, you know, you're not just sending them here because you want to go on a vacation over this person's house. I don't even care if it's a relative. God is saying, even in that, be careful where you send your children, where you let them lay their head. God bless you guys. I love you. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell to be notified of every new upcoming video. Be encouraged. I love you. Remember, your chosen generation, a royal priesthood. God bless you guys.